Hey everyone, this is the Blackjack Hacker here and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm going to talk about Blackjack Playing Deviations. Playing Deviations can really be a way to increase your overall EV and profits when you're card counting at Blackjack. And I'll actually just explain a full guide on how Playing Deviations work, what are Playing Deviations, and why they're so important when you're playing Blackjack. So what are Playing Deviations? Playing Deviations are ways to deviate from regular basic strategy when you are card counting. So as you all know, basic strategy is a chart that tells you the optimal way to play blackjack depending on your first hand that you have versus the dealer's up card. So for example, if you're dealt a 16 versus a dealer's 10, uh, basic strategy would tell you the optimal way to play over here is to hit on your 16 versus a dealer's 10, okay? But what playing deviations do is sometimes actually deviate from that and say that in some cases, sometimes it's actually better, for example, to stay on a 16 versus 10 instead of hitting on a 16 versus 10. So they will just find new optimal ways to play blackjack to actually increase your overall EV and profits when you're card counting. So this is the playing deviations chart, okay? Uh, this chart will actually tell you new optimal ways to play blackjack depending on the true count, okay? So by the way guys, if you've never heard about card counting or are still a beginner at card counting, for you to apply this, you need to know how to count cards, okay? Because it's based on the true count, which is uh, the running count divided by the number of decks remaining. So if you've never heard about it, um, I have a link uh, in the description of this video. And it's a video of a full tutorial showing you guys what is card counting and how to apply it at casinos, okay? But yeah, uh, basically what this chart does is uh, just tells you new 18 different ways uh, to actually increase your overall edge. Um, and it's just new ways to deviate from regular basic strategy. So for example, the first one is insurance over here. Um, usually insurance, you never should take insurance, okay? It's really bad, but... According to deviations, it's actually better for you to take insurance if your true count is at plus three or higher. Same thing with uh, the one uh, just under that, 16 versus nine. Okay, 16 versus nine, you usually always need to hit. But um, what playing deviations say is that it's actually better to stand on a 16 versus nine if the true count is at plus five or higher. Same thing over here with 16 versus 10, okay? Usually it's always a hit according to basic strategy, but according to playing deviations, it's actually pro more profitable to stay on a 16 versus 10 if your true count is at zero or higher. And it just has a ton of more uh, deviations uh, uh, around 18 deviations at in this chart. So if you want, you can take a screenshot or I'll probably put a link in the description for you guys to download this chart to try to learn it by heart and practice at home and then apply it when you're uh, going in the casinos, okay? So why are playing deviations so important? Uh, they're important because they increase your overall profits and EV over the long run. Uh, they are also the best playing decisions that you can make in blackjack, okay? There's no other strategy or way that can make you uh, uh, better dis playing decisions than this, okay? And also what's really cool is that they increase your overall profits of the game by 10%, okay? So yes, it could be good if you're card counting with basic strategy, but a card counter that would apply playing deviations would make 10% even more uh, than the other one who would just apply it with basic strategy, okay? So let's just compare a regular, uh, someone who would card count with regular basic strategy and someone who would card count uh, with basic strategy but also apply playing deviations, okay? So for example, uh, we have like a really high roller uh, card counting and his expected value is $200 per hour when he's card counting with uh, basic strategy. Now that same player could actually make instead of $200 per hour, it could actually make around $220 per hour if you would apply these extra deviations. Now, this is a huge increase because it may not seem a lot, like, you know, only $20 per hour, but think about it. If that card counter plays for several hundred hours or seven thousands of hours per year, uh, you can really tell the difference of someone who would not apply playing deviations and someone who would, okay? So it's really, really profitable in the long run. So it's really easy to learn. Um, and yeah, in my opinion, it's just way better than just applying with basic strategy, okay? You just increase your overall profits by a whopping 10%. So in my opinion, it's recommended. 
um, to actually apply plane deviations as well, okay? Um, if you're not comfortable with this, it's still okay to actually card count with regular base strategy. It's still, uh, blackjack is still beatable uh, while you're applying it only with basic strategy. But I do still recommend deviations because they're so much more profitable. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, there's going to be more card counting and blackjack tips uh, coming out soon. So make sure to stay subscribed and like this video. I would really appreciate it. It helps support the channel and spread the word about uh, card counting uh, in casinos. Okay. My goal is to actually make you guys profitable and not lose all your money when you're gambling. Okay. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.